Next to Pitch is a health and wellness coach who wants to bring her Taylor Fit wellness program into the digital space. Who is up for some really cool trivia? Please raise your hands. Awesome. Did you know that 95% of our behavior is actually driven by our subconscious mind? <laughs> Most of you probably know that already. Now, the, the problem that we're trying to solve here is people are trying hard to keep up their fitness routine. And the thing is, because of the pandemic, it's even harder than before. So I wanted to introduce to you Wellnessable from the words, wellness is possible. This is our mission that we started back in 2018. So it's an existing platform with community and different services. So for us, we are actually gonna be We'll shut, um, tailor fit the content to the users um, by giving them assessment. And what's great about Wellnessable is we have actually partnered with therapists as well, like psychologists and psychiatrists in order for us to combine the formula of providing them this service. We're actually going to be rewarding our users. So it's very basic in terms of the platform. The customer or the member, as we call it, will sign up for it and um, you know answer a simple assessment. If you're going to sign up as a member for it, you're going to be empowered to also help us out in the ongoing um, community projects that we've been doing for the past couple of years. I'm lucky that um, one of my partners, which is my brother, have been a mobile app and web app developer for over 10 years. So we're working on an MVP. We're integrating how I approach and help my clients and his ideas on technical side as well. So we have done a lot of free coaching and free events, uh, virtual events, webinars. Uh, we've done podcasts, work with a lot of um, influencers and celebrities and thought leaders to really make sure that we have different perspective and different lenses in providing wellness as possible to our community. We invest a lot on our social media as well. How is it earning? So currently um, we are testing the, the pricing for this. So the price is still, you know, we're still playing around the price they have to pay monthly. Wellness is possible to Filipinos. And I really believe that you cannot just focus on exercise. It's a combination of different things. So it has to be a holistic 360 degree approach to that. That is us in a nutshell. I am very excited to hear your thoughts and your questions. Thank you. Okay, how many users do you have now? The platform itself is at the ideation stage, but the community and all the, the things that we're trying to integrate in that platform is being done away. Okay, but you started this project when? It started in 2018, so we're more about just community building since then, more about just giving back to the community, trying to you know, hear their thoughts about wellness because we don't want to like right off the bat offer, you know, some a product that we're not, you know, we're, we don't know them really that well. So. so three years, it's a lot of time um, and you still don't have a product. Actually, this is just the first year that we're trying to do the product. We're all about just focus on the content creation for us and for other brands. So how big is your community? The, the people who are on your Facebook page, listen to your podcast. How big is that community? Yeah. Uh, numbers wise? Yeah, numbers. I do not have that number. I can only answer it based on the existing followers, followers. that we have. Yeah, yeah, followers. How many followers? Okay, so if we're gonna combine like all the followers on all our platforms, it's gonna reach around 20K. Yeah, okay. That's a start, yeah, that's good. So what are you gonna do differently from all the other companies who are in this space already that allows you to do more? and charge less and still make money. I see your point on that. And the reason why I think it's yeah. going to be possible is because like, if you have gathered so many users in your platform, I don't really think that that's going to be an issue. So we are really using all our marketing experiences from the past to make sure that you, know, you get as much users as, as possible. And you know, there are different strategies that you can do. I think the two biggest assets you have going for you is the community that you already have and the possibility of uh, creating some IP out of this assessment. I would probably work as quickly as possible to create the, the minimum viable product, uh, but I think you got to get to that as soon as possible, I, I think. I agree, yeah. I agree. So when you're ready with, you know, at least more than your MVP, right, we'll be more than happy to work with you to see how we can integrate that into our affiliate program, into our product, and we definitely look forward to that that day coming, right? Sounds exciting. Same goes with us. Um, keep in touch. Um, let us know the progress of mm -hmm. your company. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So Nikki, uh, I want to applaud you for having a big heart, helping a lot of people 
we want to help you get to the point of your MVP. You know, we have a design thinking workshop. We'll give you that workshop so that you can finish your prototyping, you can finish your testing, your MVP, so that you can face our good looking uh, <laughs> judges here so that they can finance you. So we'll help you get to that stage. And so that's what I'd like to offer you. That will be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. I'll see you for the course, okay? See you. <laughs> so I'm really grateful to them because they've asked me so many questions that, you know, it made me not just validate the, the idea, but at the same time, help me in so many ways too when they ask me those questions. But more importantly, I'm grateful that Sergio made an offer that I think that it's a must have. I mean, that, that course will really propel the, the business into something else. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you for doing that, Joel. Yeah. I think it will help her a lot. I think the wellness space is great, but it's getting crowded. Yes. You really need to, you know, get very focused on getting something right. The community is a good start. Yeah. I think we just need to make sure that she gets the product right. The unfortunate thing here is that she's got this brand and she's attracting all these people, but she's not tracking it and, and measuring mm -hmm. it. You know, mm -hmm. so that's another mm -hmm. maybe low-hanging fruit opportunity. Yeah. We'll put some numbers in her head, right? Get her to that discipline. Yeah, well done, Joel. Oh. Well, I hope she's uh, worthy to meet you guys soon. <laughs>